Bill would address state CNA shortages by lowering requirements. Advocates say block grants plan will starve nursing home funds. And ransomware is the number one cyber threat for healthcare providers. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, May 15th, 2019. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Wisconsin lawmakers are looking to trim heavy training requirements on certified nursing assistants in an effort to help fill vacancies. The Badger State currently requires CNAs to complete 120 hours of schooling compared to just 75 in neighboring states. Staffing shortages have helped contribute to a dozen nursing facilities closing in 2019. Industry advocates had pushed for a Medicaid pay hike to address inadequate wages, but legislators balked. Assembly Bill 76 would instead bring Wisconsin's training requirements in line with federal standards. Leading Age Wisconsin reports that 11 of the state's nursing homes have already closed this year, and another 27 are in receivership. Low Medicaid rates, a shortage of workers, and, staff, and shifting demand toward assisted living facilities are all contributing. Advocates are pushing for an additional $83 million to address the deepening crisis. Tennessee nursing home resident advocates are slamming the state's bid to move its Medicaid program to a capped block grant system to limit spending growth. Governor Mike Lee is poised to sign the policy change, which would make Tennessee first in the nation to ask the federal government for its Medicaid funds in a lump sum. This change has been long coveted by Republicans and President Trump as a way to cap spending growth for nursing homes' largest funding source, and it has been dreaded by providers and consumers alike. Watchers note, however, that its review would take months and may be challenged in court. Resident advocates blasted Tennessee's actions this week, concerned that they would only make skilled care less attainable for the poor. Medicaid covers 61% of nursing home care in the volunteer state, noted Grace Smith, executive director of the Council on Aging in Middle Tennessee. Ten Care. T-E-N-N-C-A-R-E, -E, is projected to spend about $1.07 billion this fiscal year on nursing home care for 24,000 individuals, one of the most costly services under the program. Tennessee lawmakers first approved the legislation last Thursday, and the governor is expected to sign it soon. Other states, such as Alaska and Georgia, have similarly expressed interest in transitioning their Medicaid programs to block grants. We'll be back right after this break. CNA TV. CNA TV. Memberships have changed over the years. This has been your long-term care news update. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of NACA. CNA TV. Don't miss out on any of the great programming on CNA TV. Subscribe today. Ransomware attacks are the biggest data breach threat facing nursing facilities and other healthcare institutions, a new analysis finds. Such cyber attacks where a malicious software blocks access to a computer system until a sum of money is paid accounted for 68 out of 602 healthcare breaches over the past two years. Often, these attacks piggyback on emails and experts said that better training is needed for employees to spot the signs of a threat. Mailing errors were the second biggest cause of breaches that occurred between 2016 and 2018 and were resolved by March 2019. They accounted for 52 incidents. Experts say training should focus on recognizing phishing attempts and resisting the urge to click on questionable hyperlinks. Experts also suggested punishing employees who violate privacy laws, segmenting data to minimize ransomware attacks reach, and conducting periodic disaster recovery tests. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.